Welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate an ActiveX text box and macro associated with its got focus event. A text box accepts text or data from the user. Here we illustrate how to set text in the text box. This is the text box, the yellow color. If we select a name in column A, and then we set focus or click on the text box. It will display the name height and weight. The name which was selected in column A. The linked cell for this text box is A9, which will display the text box value, which is its content here. Now let's have a look at the macro, how this works. We come to the Visual Basic Editor. This is the macro associated with the got focus event of the text box. This macro is triggered on selecting or clicking the text box. That is when the text box gets focus. It must be located in the code module of the worksheet containing the text box, which is sheet one. On the top of the code module, there are two drop down boxes one on the left and one on the right. We can select the control, the text box one from the left drop down box, the right drop down will display all the events which are associated or supported by the selected control that is the text box. Here we have the change event, double click, got focus, key down and so on. Here we select the got focus event And we demonstrate. Now we run through the macro. Which is being displayed here. If the active cell is in worksheet column A, except cell A1. So we can select any cell in column A except A1. And then set focus on text box we can select the text box which will set the text its text we start with an error statement here we have the code if active cell is not in column a then we exit the procedure if active cell is a1 again we exit the procedure because our data is in column a except in cell a1 If active cell has no data, then there will be no action. So, so there will be action only if active cell has a value and it is not blank. Then the text property of the text box will display is set to the active cell value. This is the active cell value, which is the name which is selected in column A. This is the active cell which has been clicked. And if we set focus on the text box, it will display the active cell value, which is Tracy, which was selected. Then it will display the height, which is in the column next to the active cell on its right. And it will display the weight, which is two columns to the right. So here we use this offset function. So this is how the text is set in the text box per the active cell, which was the cell which was selected in column A. Also note that the text or value of the text box will get stored in its linked cell, which is the worksheet cell A9, which we had mentioned earlier here. So now let's try to select cell A7 John and now we set focus on the text box. So we have John's height, 
and weight being displayed on the text box and in the linked cell. Now if we select a blank cell and we set focus, nothing will happen as explained in the macro. We hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and you found it useful. Thank you.